What's cracking like a YouTube fam? It's Jeff from Two Wheels and a Meal here. We're in a different kind of location this afternoon. We're out in the middle of freaking nowhere. There's nothing in sight but fields and awesomeness. <laughs> so we're on our way to go to Quaker Steak and Lube, man. I'm really craving some chicken wings the last couple weeks. And, you know, I normally don't go to kind of like chain restaurants. I try to find like the mom and pop kind of restaurants. But today, chicken wings, man, is what's on the menu. So let's hop on the bike, have some fun, and we'll see you guys on the way. First time checking out one of my videos. My name's Jeff. My name, yeah. I'm a cook for a living and I love riding my motorcycle. So we combine the two and we ride to restaurants on our motorcycles. And it's not necessarily a review of the restaurant, you know, just my opinion and uh, my experience and all the adventures along the way. So if you could smash the like button, subscribe for me, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm and getting my video out there to everybody else. I'm not usually going to, to chain restaurants, you know. Um, I try to stick to the mom and pop kind of restaurants, uh, support local business and stuff like that. But I was really, really craving some chicken wings for like two weeks or more now. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to go to B-dubs. That's kind of, the, their wings always make me feel fucking weird in, this, in the tummy. So I've never been over here to Quaker Steak and Lube ever so we'll bring you guys along for the ride got off work early and uh we're gonna eat some freaking chicken wings today now you won't see me eat crazy spicy stuff my tummy can't handle it man i might dabble a little bit and taste it but like i won't get like the extremely hot hot fucking buffalo wing challenge bullshit like i, ca I can't do that you won't see that for me Oh man, my tummy is rumbling. I'm hungry. I think that this Quaker steak and lube is attached to or very close to a truck stop. So a lot of the truckers will go here and have lunch or dinner or what have you. Um, your boy Jeff, he, he don't drink anymore. I'm, I'm four and a half years sober, no booze. I used to be really bad on bourbon, whiskey, fucking beer, everything. Whatever I get my hands on, I would drink. Before work, during work, after work, the whole nine. So I will not be partaking in any alcohol this afternoon, even though I really want a beer. I heard that they have like these fucking tall beers. It's like a yard, literally, of beer in this big ass tube. <laughs> now on a day like this, that would be really refreshing. We're not gonna tempt ourselves with booze. We're going to get a little chicken wings and treat ourselves that way. Beautiful out here, man. Love it. Up on the top of all those mountains is the Blue Ridge Parkway. So if you ever see me riding on the parkway, it's up there. And I'm just slightly below it. I think it's like 3,000 feet up there. It's, it's not that high, you know. So it's basically like a straight shot there. We're going to cruise there and we'll update you guys when we get a little bit closer. I told you it was at a truck stop. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be over here. I'm not a truck. I'm a little truck. Papa, Nathan, Subway, Papa John. It's not over here, it's over there. Oh, well, this is kind of cool. Well, here we are. 
Burgers, wings, and brews. Let's get it. Let's go get some fucking wings. See you guys inside. Craving some chicken wings, something fierce, bro. And that definitely, definitely, definitely hit the spot. So I, I guess I came in the back way through the truck stop and I could have went down this little road. Woo! Shout out Quaker Steak and Lube. That was fucking, that was delicious, man. Hit the spot. Craving them chicken wings, man. Hit, hit that special spot, man. Needed that. So I'll give you guys a rundown of what I had today. I had the breaded bang bang shrimp for an appetizer. It was six uh, breaded and fried pieces of shrimp and then they tossed them in their bang bang sauce. Just a uh, spicy mayonnaise basically. And those are really good, those are really spicy. I already told you guys I'm kind of a pussy when it comes to spicy stuff. So those shrimp kind of lit me up. And for my main, they were doing a special on Tuesday. They had 10 bone-in chicken wings for 10 for 10 bucks. So 10 wings for 10 bucks, any sauce you wanted, and you get like a little side. Um, so what I had was the Asian Zing kind of deal. They were, uh, I don't remember the exact name of the sauce. They were like a spicy Asian sauce. So it had like sesame and soy but also had some Thai chili, some really spicy chilies in there, and those are really good. And of course you have to have ranch and blue cheese to dip them in. And I had tater, loaded tater tots as my side. They're covered in cheese and bacon. Man, I didn't even need a couple wings, man. I'm parched, I am so full. I should not have ordered so much food, but you know what they say, sometimes your eyes are bigger than your stomach. There we go, we got a freshy battery in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're still out here having a fucking good time. <laughs> the best time. A nice pleasant lunch at Quaker Steak and Loop. It was a little pricey. If I didn't get the 10 wings for 10 bucks deal, it would have been a lot fucking more. My my bill was like $22. But I did get the, the um, shrimp appetizer and a bunch of wings. I was like, God damn, this place is expensive. 
you start looking at all the every every sandwich is like upwards of nine dollars i didn't even look how much any of the beer or liquor was i'm sure it's not cheap you know and next thing you know you're you're spending a hundred bucks not even fucking trying i got an itch on my head oh god i can't scratch it i gotta take my helmet off it's that bad <laughs> Might be a bug in there. Ah! Alright. There we go. I legit couldn't focus on, on what I was talking about or fucking <laughs> on riding. My head was all itching. I was like, dude, what the hell? Get that situated. Back on the road. So yeah, I think I was talking about price point. I'm uh, kind of expensive. You know, that, that's really that. I mean, beautiful building. They had all those old antiques in there. That was pretty cool. Um, huge, huge building. It had a nice outside area with a bunch of TVs and it's basically like a sports bar um they had all these motorcycles hanging up in the rafters and all this it was pretty cool atmosphere uh, but man that's that's expensive but also that being said chicken wings are not cheap these days so i understand so if any of you live in a, a major city a major area check and see if you have a Quaker steak chances are you might I've seen them all around try some chicken wings man go out have a good time with your friends have a little drinky poo have a little have a little liquor drink you know for your boy Jevy go check out Quaker steak and lube get you some wing get you some drink have a good time because you know what I'm saying that's what life's all about man we're here for a good time not a long time with all that bullshit being said I'm Jeff from Two Wheels in a Mill thanks for watching till the next episode la dee dee da dee da dee da dee da peace